Hey everybody, uh, welcome to this tutorial video brought to you by Jericho Graphics and Web Design. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a logo and put it on a photograph, like a little watermark a lot of photographers use and that kind of thing. Uh, so this one's actually for a buddy of mine, so I thought I'd do a little video and show you guys how I do it. Um, I'm going to use a bit of Adobe and a bit of Corel to do this. Um, the reason why I'm going to be using Photoshop is because I've found that Photoshop is, and I hate to say this, but uh, I will admit it, Photoshop is superior um, as far as its resolution settings reductions when you're editing photograph and making changes to resolution. It does a better job than Corel Photo Paint does. Um, I just did some experimenting and was able to figure that all out. So um, I won't go into details with that, but this right here, what we're looking at here is basically what we're going to do. Here's the photograph and then down here, this is the little watermark logo we want to put on the image. So how I'm going to do that is, um, you can use either Corel or uh, a Corel Draw or Adobe Illustrator to make your logo. Uh, here we have our logo in Corel. This is the final design. And uh, so what we're going to do is, I want to export this image. And like I said, you can do the same thing with Illustrator if you're using Adobe. I want to export this logo as a PNG and the reason why I want to export that as a PNG is because with a PNG you get the the quality of a JPEG but you can still have a transparent background and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this logo and I'm just going to export it Oops, my dual monitors here let's get this over here I'm going to export this as CHP black I've already kind of done all this but I'll just do it for the for you guys sake CHP black it's a PNG as my save time. I'm going to export it. If we want to replace it, sure. And I'm going to export it at 200%. You can size it to whatever you want to do. And I got to make sure my transparent background is checked off. Uh, I think default has it checked without a check, so you want to make sure that's on. And resolution 150 is fine. I hit OK. If I move my little window over, there's my logo. It looks good. So I hit OK. So now I've done that. What I also want to do is I want to export a white one which I've already done so I won't do that but you do the same process file export and I also want to do one where I have a black one but it's got a 50 percent transparency so I'm gonna grab my transparency tool and do a uniform transparency now it looks kinda gray but it's actually 50 percent black so when I ex when I put when I layer this one on top of an image it's going to layer it uh, as 50 percent black so you'll be able to see the image pr through the through the logo uh, so I exported that one. So those are exported. So I'm going to minimize Corel. And now I'm going to open up Photoshop here. So I open up Photoshop. And again, this is basically what I want it to look like when I'm finally done. This little guy down here. So what I start with is here's the photograph that uh, was taken. And we want to add that little watermark down here on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, let's just start with one of them. Let's use... Uh, CHP 50. That's just the name of the 50%. So here you go. You can kind of hardly see it, but you can see the C and the H and the P. And what this is, this is a 50% white logo on a transparent background. Um, I can show you. There's just the same one, just with completely black. But I want to use the 50% white because I think the 50% white is going to look best on this photograph. So take my 50% white. And now for those of you guys working with photographs and these kinds of things and, and shrinking them down for web, that kind of stuff, um, I won't go into detail too much, but the best way to reduce your images is by like a quarter percent, like reducing it by 75% or 50% or 25%. What basically that does is it helps, um, it helps Photoshop it basically takes away some of the guesswork Photoshop's doing when it's reducing your images. So instead of having to cut uh, and blend a pixel, it just it's able to just slice a percentage of the pixels out instead of trying to have to blend them. So if you're doing like 31% or these kinds of things, it helps to just basically give Photoshop the ability without having to guess and gives you the crispest image, the crispest, crispest, how do you say that? The most crisp image you can. So also what I want to do is if you're exporting for web, you want to reduce your resolution to 72 dpi because that's what you'll be able to view on the, on the web there. So I'm going to take it resolution 72, percentage, not pixels. I want to change this to percentage. 
and I'm going to go down to 25% uh, because I want to make this thing a lot smaller. Right now it's 33. So shrunk it way down, but I'm, my view right now is at 33%. So I want to go to view and go actual pixel. That's still way too huge. So I'm going to go image size. Then I'm going to go to percentage, and I'm going to go down to 25% again. And hit OK. And that's pretty much good enough. Now I can save it like this and then import it and all that stuff with the other one. Or I can just basically just highlight the whole thing. Hit control C to copy that. Go to my photograph image of my little B here. And then hit control V to paste it. And it pastes it right there. So this is 50% white. So now you see we don't have a big ugly square that you get with the JPEGs that everybody's always concerned about. And I... Uh, it looks good. You could even do a little bit more, maybe like a, a 60 or 70 percent white. So now you just kind of stick this guy wherever you want. I like there. Looks good. And then you can just go to File, save it as a JPEG. Uh, let's call it B. Save it as a B. Format JPEG. Oops, this isn't even on my screen. Let's go over there. Okay, so we save as, label it B, and we just inst take it instead of having a uh, PNG, we go down to JPEG, and then we save as, or save, I guess. Oh, drag that over there. Quality, I like to do max. You can do whatever you want. Depends on the size, right? It depends on how big you want the image to be. You'll determine how big your uh, photo is going to be by the quality. So I always like to do maximum quality and then make my resolution on my screen the right size. So hit OK. Bang. And uh, where is he? B. There's our B image. So that's how you get a little watermark on your photograph without having a big white square. And uh, that's using Corel Draw, a little bit of Photoshop, and you can kind of basically do that whole setup using you know Adobe Illustrator, and then Photoshop or Corel Photo Paint and Corel, whatever you want to do. Uh, but like I said, Photoshop I find does a lot better work with uh, pixel quality on the images. So. Uh, that's why I use Photoshop and definitely um, over Corel Photo Paint. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. Thanks for watching, and you can vis visit us online at jericho.com. That's J-E-R-A-H-C-O.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.